Once upon a time there was a man, and this man was the manniest man of them all. Some used to call this man, Man, and some used to call him Manneth, the manniest man among the men. Among the Manneth, among the mans, and among the many men, the manny man. But to this day, no one really knows who Man the Man was. And I, along with many, also do not know who Man the Man is. Even though I search upon these lands, I still do not know who Man is, or who, who Man is. But here we stand today, and we look upon the skies, and we see nothing. There's not really anything there. But to this day, no one knows who Manny the Manny is, the manniest man of them all. As you can see by my spedazzly attire, I am looking for Manniest the Man, and here I am in this village where I have heard Manny the Manniest Man resides. And so I'll search for him and see if I can find him. But all I'm seeing is these guys with uh, these skis on. I'm not really sure why, but uh, look kind of sus. Uh, they don't even got good trades. They're kind of scammy, but you know It'd be like that sometimes. Alright, so I've been talking to this host for a bit, and he hasn't really told me anything. I keep asking him, and all he does is nay. I think he's trying to nay nay on me, which is kind of rude. So I think I'll just have to just kill him real quick. Uh, oh, this is a cool cat. It'd be a shame if someone were to kill it. It's a good thing I won't do that, because this is my boy. Alright, so I've been searching for a very long time, and I accidentally killed one of the people living here, but I think they're cool with it, because they don't seem too bothered by it. But I'm not really finding anything about Man, the Manneth. It's very tough finding him, like I said. Some don't even think he exists, but I have undeniable proof that he exists that I won't be showing you today, for it is not worthy upon your eyes, you guys are not worthy, so you'll, you know, you just won't be able to see him. But I'm trying to find him, and I can't really find him. Manneth the Manneth. Alright, I just, I just gotta keep searching, that's all it's gonna take. Alright, so I realized I had some gold on me, and I've spazzled myself a little bit more, so we're gonna be even more spazzly, I think we're gonna catch the attention of Man the Manneth. I'm not really sure what he looks like, but I think I'll be able to tell by the time I see him. Okay, so I think this guy just killed one of the homies there. Uh, he killed one of the villagers. I'm not sure why he did that, but uh, yeah, from what I know, uh, Manneth the Manneth wears gold armor, and that looks to be about him, but uh, yeah, I don't think that's actually him. Okay, I'm just gonna kill him. Unless he, yeah, okay, he didn't drop the gold stuff. See, if I kill Manneth the Manneth, he'll drop gold, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to kill him, because you know, that's my boy, Manneth the Manneth. But yeah, I'm not really finding anything, I'm just seeing people getting killed, and it's not really nice. Like, this hay bales, but like, I can't really do anything with that, it's not like I can get food out of it, or anything, it's just, it's kind of barren wasteland over here. It's very tough. Okay, the child is very angry, oh my gosh, okay, you know what, I, I can't do, I can't deal with these children, man. Oh, okay, that was very scary, I'm not gonna touch children, man, I, that's just, that's just not legal, bro, I'm not gonna kill a child, alright. Uh, I would never kill a child. I would never do that. Uh, is it? Oh gosh, that's very scary. Okay guys, I think I found- Oh my gosh, okay, yes, that's the man, the man. He's trying to kill one of the villagers. I think he held a grudge against them. So, okay, wait, I need to protect the man, the man. Alright. Okay, we found him, we found him. Oh my gosh, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, bro, okay, he has a golden helmet. Uh, yeah, I don't think- Yeah, he's going after him. I think he has a grudge against him. He kind of looks like a zombie, but I think that's okay. That's definitely man, the man. There's no way, he, no one wears a gold helmet except Manneth the Manneth, especially with those enchantments. Alright, so now I gotta do the pro game we've been trapping. I don't have any, mm, I don't have any blocks. Alright, I'm just gonna have to, yo, Manneth, man, chill, chill. Okay, I think he has a grudge against everyone, I think he doesn't remember who I am. I've never met him before, but I just don't think he remembers. Okay, as you can see, Man the Manneth is living in daylight. I don't, yeah, I mean, he's a human, but he's living in daylight and he has a golden helmet. I think he's chill, I think this is Man the Man the Manneth. I think he just doesn't remember who he is. That's definitely what it has to be. I mean, just look at him. What a spedazzly man. Oh, gosh. Guys, I, I have some bad news. I was looking for... I, I don't know what happened to him. He just fell down. What? Wait, is he... Oh, my gosh. Manny the Manneth. Okay, I was very scared. I thought he just killed himself. All right, Manny the Manneth. Come on, let's go. Let's go, bro. Bro, come on. You don't have to stay down there anymore. It's all right. Bro, don't be scared. It's all right, Manny the Manneth. Come on. Look at this. Some cool fireworks. Yeah, let's go. Come on, come on, Manny, come on, man. Oh, wait, what? Bro, what the heck? Oh my gosh, bro, what happened to man? Oh my gosh, no, the water changed him. Oh my gosh, they ruined him. They killed him. What? Oh my gosh, okay, guys, I can't. They. I can't. I think. I can't forgive them. I can't forgive the water. Oh my gosh, they actually did that to man the manneth. 
They really did him like that. They really did him Dodi. Uh, I never knew who he was, but he seemed like a good man to me. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I can't believe it. You can't even tell his remnants. You can see the gold stuff on his head that it was his. It still resides in him. I think I need to get him out of his misery. He turned to an unyielding beast. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man, the manith. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, it's sad days, boys. It's sad days. The times are tough. The times are very tough indeed. Ah, uh, even his helmet had him breaking too, just like his soul. You could tell he was a great man. In his honor, I'll be wearing his Spadazzi helmet. I may not be worthy of his legacy, but I will continue on for his sake and for the world. For the world still needs man the manith. And I will continue on his legacy. I'm, really, I'm not really sure what he did, but I think he did something. But I'll continue on his legacy and I'll build a home here. I'll, I'll make this my home, this village. I'll colonize it. I'll continue conquistadizing South and North America in his honor. Alrighty, so I've taken a uh, captive of this child. I mean, uh, I've, I've given him a home. Uh, he's going to stay here for a while until he grows up and stuff. And uh, yeah, so I've also built a peepee -pee just to show that I own the place. And uh, I see this guy, I don't know what he's doing, I think he's uh, maybe peeing or something, I'm not really sure, I shouldn't be looking at that. But yeah, uh, I'm just gonna make a home here, gonna make it out of dirt, make it all spit dazzly and stuff. And yeah, it's gonna be some very cool stuff. Alrighty, so I made gold shovels just to make sure I could get the dirt fast, but it's looking like dirt shovels aren't actually the best, uh, somehow. But yeah, at, at least I'm using like a very, you know, a very common resource like gold, not dirt or anything. But yeah, I'm, I'm using about one gold per 30 dough. Seems pretty efficient to me. Uh, some people keep arguing that it isn't. I'm not really sure what's wrong with them. They're just very uneducated, I guess. But yeah, it's very efficient. The value of dough is much more than gold. No matter what any of these uneducated people say about the value of gold. Right, so I think this is the best place to build a house. Uh, I'm just going to get two stacks of dough. Should be enough. And I'm going to get my way through building this amazing house. Alright, so these houses kind of don't look too good, so I'm just going to take some of the wood from them just to, you know, help them out. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying to conquistadize them, you know, make them more civilized, make them a better society, and all that good stuff, you know. So I'm just trying to do them a good service to them. It's going to be some good stuff. As you see, the house is coming along very nicely, and I think uh, I'm almost done with it. I just want to get, you know, a few contraptions in, uh, get some wood stuff in, you know, give him a nice woody wood thing. And it's going to look very, very nice. You know, it already looks like a 10 out of 10 in my book. But, you know, we're going to try and make it look like a 10, 20 out of 20 in yours. Alrighty, so also, uh, I have a jukebox. I got a craft table here. And I got a chest with a lot of CDs. I don't know why I have so many CDs. I think I was going to give it to Man the Manith as a gift. But now we have it here. And now we got some nice tunes over here. So it's going to be some good stuff over here. Some good stuff going on. It's going to be very epic. So now we can continue the building. Got to build a few ladders. Maybe uh, a second floor, maybe look, maybe, you know, just do some cool stuff with it. Alrighty guys, so there's a, a a large tall man, and I'm not very, you know, it's pretty scary over here. The large tall man, he's coming after me, he's been attacking me, and even though I have the power of man, the man is helmet, I'm not sure if I can defeat him. He keeps teleporting it around, and I can't, I can't find him, I can't find him. I'm not sure where he is, he wobble covered me, and he got lots of health off of me. So it's a very scary times of here, but I shall prevail on top of my home. It will be a very good time. Well guys, this is the house. Now that I am the mayor of the city, aka the leader, aka the dictator, whatever you want to call me. And so yeah, looking kind of nice. I may use this as a decoration when I think about it. And yeah, it's looking very nice. I'm just going to give you a quick house tour. You may have seen a little bit of it from the footage, but yeah, we've got a jukebox here. It's kind of, kind of nice. Can I... Nope, there's nothing in there. Alright, well, that's tough. I'm gonna put something in there. Let's see, what do I got here? I got, boom, Christmas music. I don't know what Christmas is, but it looks cool. Got a bed, a yellow one. Look at that. Boom, look at the surrounding. Very nice, very nice. And then we go up here, and this is the nicest part. See, very safe way to get up here. Even got a ledge, like, nice, nice. No one got that. And then boom, even got this outdoor space so that you can jump off whenever you feel not too good. And then, if you just want a view, then maybe a better way to jump off, boom, this, you got this nice view. And so, yeah, uh, I'm not going to jump off because that's a little dangerous, but yeah, very cool, very nice. And so, yeah, I think that's it. I don't know what else to tell you guys, this is just a very good time. I'm going to continue conquistadoring all the villages in the surrounding area, 
maybe take over a few people's bases, like the people uh, that are somehow magically talking to me through words, and like I'm not even sure how I'm seeing this, but it's pretty cool. I don't know how that stuff works, but yeah, it's gonna be some good stuff, and it's gonna be very, very nice. And next time, this entire village will be conquistadored, and yeah, very nice.